Hello, everyone. I'm back. <laughs> I had to refresh for a little bit. So I want to thank everyone who came on time. I'm just trying to give uh, people a few more minutes. We had a lot of signups, which is really good. And I'm excited to uh, meet all these people and um, share this information with them. Uh, first, I want to make sure that you guys can hear me well and that you guys can see me well. So just put a yes in the chat if you can hear me and you can see me well, if the streaming is going well. So I can know that uh, you're going to get the information that you need. Today's webinar is going to be life changing. It's going to be thought provoking and uh, inspiration. It's also going to arm you with some tools and advice to implement. All right. Great. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. Um, tools and advice that you can implement and um, start making changes as early as today. Right. We want actionable things. We don't want uh, things that we have to wait to implement. Right. Um, so I'm excited to share some of this knowledge and um, experience with you. OK, great. Thank you. I can hear you can see. All right. Fantastic, guys. Looking good. I'm about to get started in about three more minutes. Three more minutes, we'll give them some grace. Sometimes we need a little grace in life, <laughs> right? So we'll give them some grace to uh, get here um, in about three more minutes. But I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. Um, I see uh, some of you guys are saying that you are excited. <laughs> but be prepared because, you know, my way of things are unorthodox, which is what I really love about my mindset and, um, you know, some of the feedback that I've been getting from people. So be prepared for an experience, the Chloe Love experience. <laughs> and I'm excited to experience you guys as well and um, get some feedback and, um, you know, know what you guys do, where you guys are from, um, what are you guys uh, looking for? Uh, you're excited too, Ishmael. What are you guys looking for from the, the webinar? What are some of the things that you'd like to, uh, experience during the webinar you know what are some of those things and i'm all souped up i'm all souped up to share this this information with you guys those people got about two more minutes and we're gonna start without them <laughs> we're gonna have to move on with this greatness without them i mean they'll catch up but listen those of you those of you who came on time i don't want you guys to have to wait too long to dig into this stuff so We'll give them one more minute. That two minutes just got cut in half. One more minute and we're going to start the show. And we are ready to go. Okay, uh, we're having a bit of technical difficulties with the upload. Let's try this again. Okay, here we go. So, hello everybody again, and thank you for coming. Uh, I appreciate your time. So I am going to make sure that I make it worth it. And I hope that you guys are just ex as excited as I am to, uh, go through this webinar and to get the jewels and uh, some of the information that I have to share with you. So you're here for my webinar that focuses on how I built my brand, how I got free press by authentically building my brand, how my brand has allotted me a seven figure network in despite of 2020 and 2021 restrictions and how you can do the same in as little as 90 days, no exaggeration. 
My goal today is to bring support if your business is compromised by any disruptions, whether it be the pandemic, a natural disaster, or things of that nature. Um, if your business isn't scaling, right, you're stagnant in your sales and you know that you're better than that. Um, if you want to improve your brand value and how to do that, how to add to your brand value. And if you want to monetize on that brand, right, if we're doing all these things, we want to make money from it. That's why, you know, one of the, the, the things that we want to accomplish, that's a big part of success. If you stay till the end, you will get a free copy of my book, The Branding Handbook. This book usually goes for $20 on Amazon, but today you will get it completely free. To make sure that you make the most of this training, I want you guys to follow a few steps. Uh, grab a pen and paper so that you can take notes. If you have headphones, put those on so that you can uh, zero in and uh, not be distracted by any noise or outside uh, distractions. Put your phone on silent. Close any unneeded tabs that you may have open so that there's no interruption with your streaming or pop-ups. And turn the TV off so that you can fully indulge in this, be one with this, and process this information, right? And get this, this, this amazing stuff that I've prepared for you guys. Uh, so who am I? My name is Chloe Love. I am a Renaissance woman and serial entrepreneur. I'm a podcaster. I am a public speaker. I'm an author. And I own multiple companies, right? I'm a mother, I'm a daughter, I'm a best friend. <laughs> and I also have a, a very quirky sense of humor. That's who I am. I'm more than just my accomplishments. Um, but here are some of the brands and how I got to this Chloe Love persona. Uh, women with Voices, my nonprofit that uh, pushes for women's empowerment. And our motto is, uh, <laughs> just because we're women doesn't mean that we are anti-man. So pro us is an anti-him. Uh, Brooke Brothers, my baby, how I started in business and really got my feet wet and learned a lot of the foundational things that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Uh, we Uplift Women, an online tech platform that allows women to connect nationally and internationally. Uh, New Life Consultants, that's my business where I've helped thousands of entrepreneurs in things like funding, business formation, brand strategy, uh, you name it, we've done it and we've done it successfully. Um, and Chloe's Corner, that's my latest baby. That's my co-working space that is located in Brooklyn. And uh, that's the city I'm from that I love, that I rep to everywhere I go. Um, and Chloe's Corner is in prime location right by the famous Barclays Center. So we're doing it, but we're also doing it big. But with all of that, right, I'm also <laughs> very transparent. I've done a lot of things right, but I've also done a lot of things wrong. And those are the parts that people don't like to tell you about. People like to show up, you know, well packaged in success as if they've always had it all together. Anyone that feeds you that, just change the channel, turn the TV off and say thank you, but no thank you, because that's not how it goes. Even when you're handed something like a successful business or uh, your a legacy in something, there's always going to be those struggles where you do a lot of things right and you do a lot of things wrong. But for me specifically, uh, the hard way was not having brand clarity, right? Uh, not having a strong brand identity, not having brand experience and not in the way that you think, not in the sense of not having a professional experience and not having a monetization plan. I used to always give people information for free <laughs> and I'm like, I know I'm good at what I do um, and I still do give a lot of information for free, but I didn't have an actual plan on how I was going to monetize on all these things that I have uh, put these efforts and I've experienced and I've learned. So that's the hard way and that's the easiest way to go bankrupt when <laughs> you're investing in yourself and to not be successful in your business. Um, but there were three secrets that I discovered that helped me achieve success. Would you like me to share those things with you guys? Of course, that's why you're here. The first secret that is the most important secret is the reason why you can't 
grow your business or feel like you can even survive in something like a pandemic, a natural disaster, or anything that's going on is because you don't have a strong brand, period, point blank, period. You don't have a strong brand. The second reason is that you haven't made your story the backbone of your business because this will get you better clients, free press, and a new sense of life purpose. And when you have that sense of life's purpose and you're really loving what you do, people can feel that. You resonate that. So people want to buy into whatever it is that you're gent- – what is that that she has? Let me get some of that. Or he has. Let me get some of that. And you don't know – the proper way to monetize on that, even with all the noise and all the static that's going on in the world, you have to know the right way to monetize on that, whether it's a political dis- disruption, a natural disaster, or an economical disruption. There's a right and a wrong way to follow out that plan. The first reason why you feel that your business can't grow or even survive the next crisis is not having a strong brand. Um For many years, I've struggled with publicists telling me, we don't get your brand. Uh, People won't get you. Uh, I can't pitch this because we don't know who you are. And I didn't understand it. It's like they keep telling me I have to niche down, but that's actually the opposite of my brand, right? So did I have to become something that I was not to be successful? And it, 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 it put this armor of insecurity on me that made me feel like, okay, maybe my brand isn't something that I should push, or maybe I don't have a brand. Maybe my brand isn't something that is a valuable. So I played the back seat for over a decade and I pushed other brands because my visual ability to roll out uh, someone's brand is, I mean, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but it's my gift. I love it. It's, it's fun. It's great, but I couldn't do it for myself. Right. So I struggled with trying to get my name out there and putting myself first and being the star of my own brand, right? But people knew that I had knowledge and they knew that I was an expert in the things. I had great credibility already. Um, but I was still holding back. I wasn't, I wasn't fully uh, being clear on what this brand stood for. And those fears maybe came from things of not being accepted, feeling like I had to live up to the status quo. And, um, you know, my mom being such the amazing mom that she is, she's always pushed me to do things the way that I wanted to do things. She's never told me, oh, you have to go to school. You have to be a doctor. It'd be nice, but do what you want to do the way that you want to do it. And although she gave me permission, I felt like, okay, that's my mom. So she loves me, right? She's going to tell me these things. But then I met this amazing man here, my husband. And his vision for me inspired me to want to show up that way. I knew that it lived deep inside of me and he's seen it like at hello. And he helped me pull that out. Now, how did he do that? Because my husband is also my client. Yes, he is my business partner. He is the other owner of Brook Brothers Music. And I am his manager. I'm his business and I am his personal manager. So... I push him hard when it comes to the abilities that I know he has. I brand him strong as a creator and I pour into him all those things I see him as. And he called me out on it one day and said, but you don't do that for yourself. You don't show up for you the way that you're showing up for everyone else. So the way that I started getting featured in all these amazing platforms, Business Insider, Forbes, uh, The Source, Hip Hop Weekly, Madame Noir, and I'm humbled by this, like I'm humbled by this, I'm on NBC, I'm on the news all the time, is by becoming my own client, by living up to the things that I was giving to other people. Being my own client was the best thing that could have happened for me. The second secret is by making your the backbone of your business your story. You will get better clients, right? Not customers, clients, because clients are re, uh, reoccurring, right? And they're more long-term. You'll get free press because when people hear your story, your uniqueness, uh, listen, these reporters and stuff, they need stories. They That's how they keep their job. And the more that you align with your story and making that the backbone of your business is the easier it is for people to want to talk about it. And you'll have, again, a new sense of purpose. 
the deliberation that it feels to show up unapologetically yourself, not in a non-offensive way, not in a way that uh, puts anyone down, but in a way that is unshackled by status quos and uh, the things that society puts on you and makes you feel like you have to do to be successful. That is priceless. And when you wear that pricelessness, when you wear that, the value goes up. It gives you a different kind of purpose and people want to be a part of that. They want to buy into that. With all that being said, in 2022, Man, my world fell apart. <laughs> so I'm saying all of this, but I'm always going to keep it um, very transparent and, and 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 real with you guys. My world fell apart. I didn't know if I was coming or going. I didn't know if the world was coming or going. And I got pregnant. And those who uh, know me know that I have really hard pregnancies. I'm sick. I'm immobile. I can't move. My hair is falling out. I'm not as productive as I would like to be, which is emotionally a very hard thing for me to go through. So we're going through a pandemic, right? I'm pregnant. I'm sick. I don't know if the world is coming. Or go. I don't know if I'm coming or going. How can I scale in this? How can I, how can I be successful in this? Will I ever be successful again? Is this the death of all my hard work and so many other people's hard work? No, it wasn't. Um, authenticity is a big part of my brand. So I started answering people, honestly, how are you feeling? Not well. <laughs> Why? What's going on? I'm sick. I'm depressed. I'm going through all these things. Um, I've experienced success, but I'm also experiencing fear. You know, I'm being transparent because you can't be successful or in a place of leadership if you can only show up when things are good, right? You have to be able to be clear on this is my process, but it doesn't mean that that's the outcome. Naturally answering, being truthful, telling people what I was going through, telling people my philosophies or even what I thought the outcome would be landed me opportunities that I didn't even foresee happening. I landed uh, partnerships. I landed a uh, my the Bloomberg contract during that time, I landed uh, the Madame Noir, uh, which is one of the biggest magazines and outlets. This is this is earned press. I didn't pay anybody. This was through a conversation that happened to be someone who was a journalist who spoke to another journalist. Right. So this isn't paying a, a publicist to pitch me. No pitching. This is just me being me and people saying, I want to cover this because of the lens that you have and your unique factor. And I, I I got a lot of opportunities during that. Just what I thought, what 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 I aligned with, and being real about it, not just in the positive parts, but the negative parts. I got a six figure contract at that time. Sick. I did over a million dollars in fund funding for small businesses. This is all truth. Nothing made up. This is not uh, exaggerations. And I was getting some of the biggest press outlets of my life during one of the hardest times of my life by being true to my authentic brand, by making my, my story the backbone of my business. Now, there is a wrong and a right way to monetize your brand, even during a uh, political disruption or, you know, a economical disruption. There's a wrong and a right way because you have to be able to look at market trends and know how you fit in that market trend. That doesn't mean that you change what your brand value is, what your integrity is, um, what your brand's voice is. It just means how you market that, how you distribute that may have to adjust to still be relevant in the new trends, right? When the world shut down, you know, I did hope everything would go back to normal. I mean, I have a co-working space, guys. <laughs> you know, even though there are many factors to the brand, I have a co-working space. Community is my my jam, right? I may not go out that much, which has changed. I have appreciated going out a lot more since that has happening, that has happened and meeting people and networking with people. But you know, I love to create spaces where people can thrive. That's my thing. That's what I do. And I have a brick and mortar. So I'm like, I really want things to go back to normal. You know, I, how am I going to pay this rent? You, 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 you guys remember I mentioned that this was by the Barclays Center. So with prime location comes with prime price tags. So I'm worrying about all these things because I'm going by way of memberships and people being and gathering in a space. 
Um, but you know, they didn't go back. They didn't go back the way that we wanted them to. And although it's a s- slow journey and we're getting back to some kind of um, familiarity, where we may never get back there. And that's something that we have to face and be able to move through. But remember I told you guys, like, I didn't really go outside like that. I like to be inside and I like to, um, you know, just create places for people to come to. You know, I was an invert. I was an invert in those ways. And something that I thought was a weakness actually prepared me for the pandemic. (laughs) So... Tapping into those things that, again, making your backbone, making your story the backbone of your your business, you find strengths that you didn't even realize that was that existed. You didn't even realize it was it was something that you could use. It's not in your marketing plan, right? So for me, using digital platforms to meet people, to bring people out to events, because I didn't do the traditional thing of going to events and meeting people, prepared me for being inside and still creating those situations. That was a super strength that may have been a weakness in the normal norm, but in the new norm was a strength. And I was able to identify with that by being authentic to myself. One of my uh, best friends I met online Jordan Emanuel and meeting her online and speaking to her. And then of course, meeting her in person after a while, we've done so many amazing things together. I've managed her through some of the greatest accolades in her career. Uh, we, she's the co-founder of my nonprofit. And this all started for me sliding in her DM, right? So some people felt like, okay, I'm inside. Um, my brand is about being outside and they didn't adjust to that. It's important to be able to adjust to those trends. I always use Polaroid as an example. Polaroid was like the the, the brand positioning for pictures, right? We would say, we're going to take a Polaroid before we would say a photo because it became the name of what that thing was. That's brand positioning. And Polaroid allowed the digital era to catch them. And they let Kodak come in with these digital cameras. And Polaroid basically became extinct. Pictures were the value, right? Not necessarily instant pictures. That was the way that we got them at the time, but pictures were the value. So Polaroid was supposed to see that trend, adjust authentically to it so that they can evolve and monetize during it. That's how you monetize no matter what's going on around you, whether it's a market change or disruption, it's always going to be a disruption in what you're used to because that's what change is. So I hope you guys are are getting what I'm what I'm saying. Yes, very interesting. Yes, Jojo. Um, so let's recap. The first secret of why you cannot scale or grow is because you don't have a strong brand. You don't have a strong brand. Um, it, it, it's like it is what it is. If you if you have a strong brand, it would carry you through any crisis. Um, you haven't made the story the backbone of your business which is why you're not getting the clients that you deserve, which is why you're not aligning with the press that you need. You're not getting the sense of purpose that you need. And that's also why you don't have a strong brand, right? Two supports one. And you're not monetizing um, no matter what's going on. It's because you haven't done two in one and you haven't understood the ways to monetize and navigate through different trends. And it's okay because I didn't at one point as well. I know some of you may be thinking, you know, this this may not work for my business. Uh, my business is different. This is not for me. If you have a business or a brand, this is for you. I don't care if you're a candle maker. I don't care if you're a psychologist, a uh, interior designer. It doesn't matter as long as you have a brand, a product, a service. Even if you're a nonprofit, you need to be able to resonate with your audience. And the best way, there's no way around it to do that, is to follow the three secrets that I just gave you guys. That has to always be the foundation and the meat of everything else that you're building around it. This took me over a decade (laughs) to figure out, right? And I'm not ashamed. It was a journey, but it was a successful long journey. Uh, I had a lot of losses. I took a lot of losses, guys. I failed a lot, never failing to try, but you know, some things that I tried to do didn't turn out the way that I felt that they should have. I got a lot of disappointments and I lost a lot of money. Um, 
had a lot of sleepless nights, had a lot of, you know, uh, anxiety mornings, I had a lot of crying days. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I made it through. And this is why I'm here, because wouldn't you like to avoid all of that? Wouldn't you want to save yourself all that headache, that type of investment, uh, that type of stress by learning the step-by-step -step process in making your brand disrupt disruption proof, right? Like making it bulletproof, if, if, if you will, just like I did. And it's not going to take you a decade or more. We can start this process and be successful in the whole morphing within a matter of weeks. You know, so without further ado, I want to present to you my brand morphing method. Uh, my method helps you marry your products or services, your life's experience, your unique characteristic traits, your journey to your products and your services so that uh, your fans, your clients, your customers can resonate with you. So let's talk about what you're going to get in this brand morphing uh, method. You're going to get the brand clarity system. Remember, uh, not having brand clarity stopped me from really succeeding faster and uh, getting the exposure and expansion that I deserved. And that cost a lot of money. I lost a lot of money in that time because time is money and I can never get back that time. No matter how successful I am, no matter how I move forward, no matter how I expand or what I obtain, I can never get back that lost time, which equates to a lot of lost money. What are you going to get from the, the brand clarity system? Well, you're going to stop people from being confused about who you are, what your brand stands for, uh, what, you know, what you have to offer, what your alignments are. You're no longer going to have short term followers who are just here for a trend. You know, instead, what you're going to have is customers. You're going to get customers and clients that you get faster. It's not going to take as long to meet that targeted market. And that targeted market are going to become raging fans, not just one time people who like something or make comment. They're going to be people who pour into the brand because the brand resonates to them. It's personal to them. So they're going to be diehard raging fans, right? So what's inside of that matrix system? Well, you have brand identity, which is important in being clear. Your brand voice, which is what people feel and how you how you deliver that voice. Brand integrity, right? What does your brand stand for? What does it stand on the foundations of it? And how to position yourself that way. That's what you're going to get clear on within that uh, branding matrix in that clarity system. Usually, I charge $1,695 just for that system. So that value is $1,695. But you also get the brand experience matrix. And remember I said before, brand experience wasn't probably what you thought. It doesn't mean a lack of experience, but instead it means the experience that your customers are having, right? And how that's useful to monetization and to brand positioning, when you go into things clueless on what your customers' opinions are, you're going into it blind. But when you have a sense of what they're feeling, what their wants are, and how you can serve them, you can create around that. So, yeah, with this system, you won't have, you won't be clueless on what your customers want, what their opinions are. You won't have non-returning customers, people who are stepping in and just peeking in and maybe grabbing one thing and never coming back or just peeking in and not buying at all. Instead, you'll have tons of testimonials. Testimonials are as good as money in the bank because it's people telling you their experience. And it's okay that if one or two are off or you get some um, negative feedback because it gives you the space to fix that if it's something that aligns with your brand, fixing it. Or it may just let you know that that is just not the customer for you. But knowing that, having that experience allows you to curate the experience that you want for those perfect targeted customers. You'll have uh, many referrals, uh, reoccurring clients, word of mouth um, traction coming in because people are really enjoying what you're giving out, you know, not what you're giving out, but what you're offering. And they're doing that because you listen to them. 
And by listening to them, you were able to create the experience that they wanted, that they served them. So inside of that matrix, you'll get the customer journey, customer experience, customer service experience, excuse me. That is so important in branding that people forget that, like in your policies and everything, your brand clarity, your brand identity, it has to be uh, in those things for your company to be consistent. Um, you'll learn how to measure those experiences. You'll learn how to optimize on products that you already have instead of having to create brand new products. And you will gain the most important thing after doing all of this. Brand confidence, because when you are confident in what you're putting out, when you know you've done that due diligence, people will understand, people will 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 show up in a way for that brand where they're like, nah, I know, I know that I'm going to get what I need. And you're confident in putting that out there that you've created something, you've put the time, the due diligence and the the heart into making something amazing. You can stand by that confidently and, and have pride in that. So who does this apply for? If you've been afraid of going big with your brand, this is for you. If you have tried but couldn't keep up with constant changes, this is for you. If you created a brand but COVID restrictions or any other restrictions destroyed it, this is for you. If you created brands before but didn't have brand clarity, this is for you. If you feel unst uh, un unstable with your current branding strategy, right? You're just not sure about it. This is for you. If you've had fair success in business, but you're ready to scale, this is for you. If you want to improve the world with your brands, like you know that your brands bring value to community, to, uh, to people, this is for you. If you're trapped in your business and you can't find a way out, this is for you. If you're ready to have a successful brand, this is for you. So currently we're at what you get, the branding clarity system, which is $16.95, the brand experience matrix, which is $12.99. And that value that you will be receiving is worth $29.94, right? That's the value. But what else do you need? Is that it? No, it's not. We're just getting started. You know, how about ways to get instant credibility or more fulfillment from your brand, right? Because, you know, so many people love to see the as seen in and um, that instant credibility, it adds value to your brand and it adds confidence to people who are coming in contact with your brand components. So I created the brand morphing blueprint, right? And with the brand morphing blueprint, sorry, a little tongue twist, I'm excited. Um, you don't have to ask for attention anymore. Let me tell you, you don't have to chase trends unless there are marketing trends <laughs> that you need to align with. But I'm talking about uh, this challenge or that challenge or showing up because this is what's hot right now and feeling like you have to be that in order to be successful. No, there's no more doing that with this system. No more hard selling because it's going to be warm because people are going to be familiar with that story. They're going to marry into it. So it's not a cold, you know, it's not a cold sell. Instead, what you're going to get is bonding with your clients and your customers. You know, you're going to bond them to that brand. They're going to feel like, like so aligned with it that it's a part of them. So whatever that is, and I'm saying this could be your soy candles that you created because the other candles with its toxins made you sick, right? So now everyone who's heard your story or how it's come about, they want your candles because they resonate with it. And even those who've never experienced that may say, hey, if she went through all of that, I know that she knows that these things are toxins free. I know that if, if it's good for her who's sensitive, it's good for me, who's not. So maybe I want to experience that too, because I like the story and the story made me think about my own health in a way that I didn't. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I tell you, it doesn't matter what you do, this is for you. No more selling, <laughs> you know, but instead more profits. You don't have to sell when it's real. Like you don't have to sell when it's real. I've had authentic conversations with people. I'm not selling anything. It's just, you know, I'm saying what it is. And I've been offered partnerships. I've been offered contracts just by doing that. So what do you learn in this matrix? You learn 
brand authenticity. And I know it sounds cliche, like, oh, what's authenticity? Just keeping it real. But no, it's so much more to that. You learn how to marry in your backstory or even properly tell it. You will receive brand credibility, which would lead to brand authority. And that's how you position yourself. So you get that in a brand morphing blueprint. And I usually go through that with people. And that causes $25.97 to work with me just on that, that, that system. So we're talking brand clarity system, 1695 brand experience matrix, 1299 brand morph and blueprint, 2597. This is a total value of $5,591 so far, right? But there's more, <laughs> there's the monetization part. How do I make money off of this? What, what 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 are the monetization secrets and what will they do for me? Well, obviously they'll stop you from struggling with making cash, right? We want more cash in hand. We don't want to have to figure out how to keep our businesses alive, right? So this is going to support you in that. Um, no more depending on one revenue stream. I'm not saying you have to open up multiple businesses. I'm saying you won't have one revenue stream and that's off of the same product or service that's what true monetization is warren buffett said it best you can never have financial freedom with one stream of revenue you have to have multiple uh, revenue streams so the brand monetization secrets will help you with increasing your prices and your value um, and creating different versions of the same product so we're not changing the wheel in most cases, we'll be reinventing the same wheel, but nonetheless, it is a wheel. Some of the actionable steps that you will learn in that monetization part is brand marketing, which is the most important marketing aspect of your business. Uh, brand expansion, how you're going to grow from that, that, that marketing and how that expansion is going to go into those multiple streams of revenue. Product development. Some of you have products, some of you don't, but some of your products may need some fine tuning or some 2.0s to those products. And how to sell higher and how to position yourself. Your brand value is what's going to add into that. Your brand value isn't your prices. It's what people will pay for your products or your services. So you'll learn how to position yourself in a way to create those uh, sales that align with your brand value. So we're here again, right? <laughs> what do you get? You get my brand clarity system that is usually $16.95. You get my brand experience matrix that is $12.99. You get my brand morphing blueprint, like which should be priceless, but it's $25.97. And you get my monetization secrets, right? This You're not going to find this on no YouTube videos. I'm not on Instagram talking about this. This is the only place you're getting my secrets, which should also be priceless. $13.89, and you'll receive a total value of $69.80. But I'm not done yet. You'll also get weekly coaching with myself, right? And what you get from that coaching is that you, you'll be able to come in and ask questions, get clarity on things that you're not sure on directly with me. Um, you won't have doubts about your business on things that you're holding back because we'll clarify those things. You will uh, not be negligent, right? Negligence is to not foresee a problem and address it or have a policy in place to address it if this particular thing happens. So you, you, you'll you have support on all those things, right? You'll be a part of an accountable community, right? We have an amazing Facebook community. You'll be able to interact with members. You'll be able to have uh, my perspective because I'll be doing exclusive videos that just goes to that community. You'll also be able to ask each other questions and be updated on uh, new trends and uh, new information that I'm also finding out in that community. And that's for a lifetime. So weekly coaching with me, what does that feel like? Amazing. <laughs> I go through weekly coaching with myself. I call them brain thunderstorms. But you're able to ask me specific questions about your business. Uh, you're able to clear doubts about uh, executing the next step because th that can be scary. Even though you know the steps, following through and executing them, figuring out if you're doing them right, if you're going about it the right way. Um, you'll have access to that Facebook group for a lifetime, right? Exclusive content and updates. Updates are so important. I'm going to uh, plug my, my, my second master's school. I went there and they allow you to come back and audit all the classes, right? 
great branding, by the way, great branding tip. So because I got my master's about 10 years ago, things change and they let you come back for free to audit the marketing classes, to audit any class that you've taken because things are always being updates. And you guys get that from me. That was, I, I put that in there and I, I, that was personal to me because of me having that opportunity. So you see how my 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 brand's experience is also pouring into my products and services. You'll get uh, weekly Zoom calls with myself. You know, that support and uh, perspective that you need. So what do you get? You get my brand clarity system, $16.95. You get my brand experience matrix, $12.99. You get my priceless brand morphing blueprint, that's $25.97. You get my branding monetization secrets, $13.99. 89 and you get my weekly coaching that's usually around fifteen thousand dollars but you know fourteen <laughs> fourteen thousand nine hundred and eighty bucks is usually you know where it goes in so we're talking about twenty one thousand nine hundred and sixty dollars that's the value of what i'm giving you of course it's priceless we know it's priceless but that's you know what i usually sell for let me ask you a question. If all of, if this was all I did, right, finally show you how to eliminate any fear about succeeding with your brand, would it be worth it? If all I did was help you scale your current business, would it be worth it? If all I did from this was help you stop struggling to get clients and feel, you know, more fulfilled with what you're doing, would it be worth it? What you receive is 2100, 21,000, excuse me, $21,960 worth of services. I had two options when I created this course. The first option was I can go cheap um, as possible and try to sell as many courses as possible while not creating an in-depth training, which, you know, requires more effort, more time, more resources. Or I had a second option. I could spend extra time and resources developing a more in-depth and actionable training that will, you know, revolutionize people's brands. It demands more time and resources, but the outcome of what my vision is, is more aligned with my second option. What is this transformation worth to you? Feeling in control of your future, your business destiny, Stop feeling afraid of promoting your own brand, not having to struggle with clients anymore, feeling fulfilled in your business. And when I speak to you, I'm speaking from a place of being there. So I completely overstand it. What is this transformation worth to you? How much would you pay to transform your brand into everything that we listed? This transformation took me, no exaggeration, about a half a million dollars and years of trial and error. I've had support from my family. I've financed a lot of things. We've cashed out my husband's 401k. I am not exaggerating when I say this was an expensive journey. But now I can help you and other people to avoid wasting time and money um, in their process of growing business, you know, growing your business, you don't have to take the same route that I took. There's an easier way. So can you see how this is worth 21960 bucks and even more now that you've understood what this would do for you? But I don't even charge anything close to that because I do want to make it affordable for people because I love what I do. Usually I charge $24.97 for the general public for, you know, if you buy that 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 bulk um, and do the group trainings. But today, since you showed up to this webinar, and I know you're serious about this change, which is why you're here. I know you're ready for those amazing life and, and brand and business changes. You can get started today for just $99, $997. Like, I couldn't even say it. I was like about to say like $99,000 because <laughs> in my mind, that's what it should be. But under $1,000, I mean, you can't beat that. You know, you also get a free year to my online wealth club. 
it's usually $200 a month, but you're going to get that free. That's one of the bonuses for uh, making that investment in yourself today. Uh, you're going to get a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me. Those start at $1,500. Um, but again, making that investment into yourself today, you're going to get that for free. How much did it cost you to fail? How much did it cost you to almost lose your business? How much did it cost you to have to close your business or go out of business? How much money did you lose by doing things the wrong way? This is an investment to avoid all of those things. And this investment actually helps you save time, which is priceless, and money which you need your time to generate, right? So this investment will really be something of value that brings more investments to you. So what would you prefer? To keep the money and maybe cover some business expenses here and there or to indulge in shopping to, to avoid the reality and like, you know, just feel uh, happy in that moment or to feel safe and fulfilled in your business, what would you prefer? Thousands of dollars an hours or what I'm offering? Or the second option, to change your business's future forever. Have disruption-proof strategies for your brand and go big by making a small guaranteed investment today, guaranteed, of $997 plus the next 30 days, right? I need you guys to commit to those 30 days and do the things that I'm telling you. <laughs> you know, it's not magic. You got to put some work in. Um, your business changes or I give you 100% of your money back. That's what I mean when I say guaranteed. You have a 30-day uh, money back guarantee. Sign up today. And if you don't like it for any reason, I don't care if it's the 29th day, 23rd hour and 29th minute. Just let me know and I will give you back 100% of your money. The real question for you is, is it worth spending a few minutes of your time to check this out? Uh, if it doesn't at least, if it does at least half of what I, I, I claimed, is it not worth just finding out if you only got half of the things that I listed, would that bring value and change to your life? Positive uh, progression. Again, you're going to get that brand clarity system, $16.95. You're going to get that brand experience matrix, $12.99. You're going to get that brand morphing blueprint, $25.97. You're going to get my brand monetization secrets, $1,389. You're going to get weekly coaching with myself, $14,980, to receive a value of $21,960. And for the first 50 people that sign up today, you're also going to get my branding journal that goes with my branding handbook. The journal will help you support and execute the things that you learn from the handbook. And you're going to get that also uh, absolutely free for making that investment in yourself. To get started, go to chloelove.net forward slash start to make that start today. Uh, you know, the 19, the 997 won't change my life. Uh, $2,000, not even $20,000. Um, you know, I'm going to keep growing in my brand. I'm going to keep being my own client. I'm going to keep helping others to become leaders in their industry, uh, to leave their legacies. I'm going to keep spending time with my family and enjoying my uh, life's experiences. And I'm going to keep earning money in the process, you know. This is for you, not me. A big part of my brand is coming from a place of service, right? That's why I made it as affordable as possible, because I also still want to serve. You know, I still want you guys to get that value. So again, you know, you're going to get my step-by-step -step video program that has that brand clarity system, $16.95 value, brand experience matrix, $1,299 value, brand morphing blueprint, $2,597 value, 
Brand monetization secrets, $1,389 value. And last but not least, those weekly coaching calls with myself, a $14,980 value. And you're going to get that 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 sums up to twenty one hundred nine hundred twenty one hundred twenty one thousand nine hundred and sixty dollars, and you get access to all of that today for nine hundred and ninety seven dollars. You know, um, I think that that this is priceless, and um, you know, I've made it so that it can be affordable because I know that this investment in yourself is going to be life changing. So do you guys have any questions that you want to put in the chat um, or as well as if you can't think about any questions today, you can email me at info at chloelove.com if you still have any questions or any concerns. Um, but I'll take a few minutes to answer any questions in the chat. And um, thank you guys for coming. I hope to see you in the course. I hope to be brand morphing with you guys and um, growing with you guys as well. I'm open to questions. I know I did a great job with explaining, so you may not have any. <laughs> but any questions that you have, I'm here to answer. It's fine. We have a few minutes left. Oh, a lot of great comments here. Thank you. Very interesting. Uh, these are definitely some of the things I want for my business. And you can have them. This was so amazing. Thank you. This information is priceless. Thank you. I feel the same way. <laughs> Although I don't price it at that. Um, it's it's going to help a lot of people. And I'm excited about that. Um, how long are the one-on-one -on -one sessions? So that's great. The one-on-one -on -one session is a half an hour call that you get for free with me. Um, the group sessions are an hour weekly. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. I hope that you guys got some jewels. I hope that this uh, was thought provoking for you so that you can start looking into your own brands and digging into those systems, uh, even with just what we spoke about on the, the webinar, implementing those um, secrets. Oh, what was the biggest financial mistake you made in your journey? Uh, honestly, not understanding business credit and um, not having a monetization plan on what I would do with that money, even if I did understand business credit and alternative funding. Um, I was in a place of like, uh, thank you for that question, Saida, by the way. Saida asks, what is the biggest financial mistake you've made in your journey? And that's what I'm answering right now. So one was not having a monetization plan because no matter how much money you obtain, maintaining is the hard part. And you cannot maintain without a monetization plan. So that was the biggest mistake I made. I was just like, okay, I need to get this money to buy this. I need to get this money to do that. But then it was like, then what? But what am I going to do? You can't wait for my business credit program. Yes, that's coming soon as well. Um, the branding is one uh, important part that we have to learn, that we have to get down pat, that we have to understand where that business credit money is going to go, right? Uh, Jordi, so yeah, we got to make sure that we get this part down pat before we even start looking for the money so that when we get the money, we know how to monetize and make that money make money for us. That is how we come to true financial freedom. And that's how we're going to use our brand, our branding knowledge, as well as those business uh, knowledge to, to achieve those things here. To be able to monetize effortlessly, <laughs> expeditiously, <laughs> Uh, so, uh, if we don't have any more questions, guys, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I had a great time talking to you guys today. Um, I'm having some, uh, great feedback that I'm very gracious for. And, um, you know, that was a great question. So I've had some great comments and if you have anything else to offer or any other questions, uh, or any comments, Again, you can email me at info at chloelove.com. How many times did you have to pivot in business, uh, Nova? So when you say pivot, um, does that mean pivot away from the idea or that I had to come back to the drawing board? Because you never fully pivot away from the idea, but you may have to come back to the drawing board with how you 
uh, uh, distribute the idea, right? How you roll that idea out. And girl, we talking about 10 years. <laughs> and it take me, uh, you know, um, a year or two. So I've had to come back to the drawing board. At least, I don't even want to lie to you guys. I've had to come back to the drawing board at least 30 to 50 times. And again, that's with trends in anything from credit to distribution to shipping like there's so many different things depending on what market that you're in that you've got to come back to that drawing that drawing board uh furniture is a great example since uh covid people weren't getting the imports that they needed to keep their furniture businesses going and i remember going to some furniture stores and they're like three months until you get your stuff. I'm like, what? You want me to pay for this today and I don't get it for three months? That's outrageous. But they had to adjust to the, the they had to adjust to the market. Uh, people just weren't getting the things that they needed to in the times that they, they, they needed to have those products. And when we started outsourcing more, a lot of companies didn't have warehouses here where they kept those products, right? So we had to wait longer. But imagine if all the companies said, I got to close down my business because I'm not getting the imports faster. They didn't. They just changed how they uh, explained their shipping. So instead of saying seven to 10 business days, they would tell you, we will process your order in seven to 10 business days, which means something specifically different. And after that seven to 10 business days of you being processed, which is also buying them time to put your order in <laughs> and cutting down that shipping um that shipping time, then they're going to tell you, and that may take another two to four weeks for it to get here. So they didn't stop making money. They still needed to make that money. They didn't shut down. They didn't, um, you know, go out of business. They just started explaining what their process of delivery was differently. Um, so yeah, sometimes you got to go back to the drawing board, but not necessarily pivot away from what you're doing. And even an expansion and new ideas and 2.0ing something or bringing in something new, it's not specifically a pivot if it still aligns with your brand. So did that answer uh, that for you? Uh, how long do you give yourself before you admit that your product or service isn't manifesting for you? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I don't think that there's a such thing as a time, but let me explain that. But an investment, if you are investing for, I would say even three to six months and you are not seeing any progress, progress doesn't always mean that you're in the green, but you can be coming, you could be coming out of the red, which means your initial investment, um, slowly but surely, right? If you're not seeing that in, and you've already had you know, your branding system, your clarity, your monetization uh, matrix, your blueprints and all of that together, then you're either not executing something properly and it's time to come back to the drawing board and be clear on what your brand is. Because if you have a product or service that's good and you've reached the people that it's for, you will make money. There's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. Will you always necessarily be a millionaire? No, but not everyone has to be a millionaire to be financially free or comfortable. Some people can just replace a job and the average person makes, what, fifty to 60000 a year. So if I can do that with putting out something I love, then that's success within itself. So if you're not seeing uh, trends, up, up, upward trends within, I would say, the first six months of rolling out a product and following all those steps correctly, then you may need extra support of something that you're not seeing. So that was a very good question. And uh, we have about one minute left until this is over. So uh, if I get a question before then, I'll answer it. But if not, you guys can email me. If you have any other questions about the program, um, please feel free to email me at info at chloelove.com. I had a blast today. Uh, I loved sharing with you guys. I loved uh, the questions that you guys asked. Uh, no problem. You're welcome. Um, and I hope to be morphing with you guys very, very soon. I call my, uh, my, my, my followers my clovers because I'm ruled by the planet of luck and expansion. So I align with that. So I always end everything by telling you guys, peace out my clovers.